I'm moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching till it's over I'm just like a soldier Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hopefully, you know, I woke you guys up from your good day. But nonetheless, guys, thank you guys for stopping by and clicking this video and being really generous with your time. I really appreciate you guys clicking on this video. And, you know, for that, you guys definitely deserve a cookie. So, you know, just, just put a little cookie in the comment section below and I'll throw a cookie right back. But nonetheless, guys, thank you guys for stopping by to this ultimate QXR gunsmith build video. And I have made the best build for the QXR as the QXR is actually... You know, technically, it is the number one best SMG in the game. I might not agree with it, but, you know, that's, it is what it is, you know? I don't really like overusing, you know, or abusing powerful guns in the game. Only probably when I have to, when the opponents are using it. But nonetheless, guys, I know you guys have stopped by for this build, and, you know, uh, you guys stopped at the right place. But nonetheless, guys, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And if you have, and also hit that like button as well. So that being said, you know, I just want to go ahead and move on with this build here, guys. As these guys can see on your screen right now. Wait, actually, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hold your horses, boys. Because, you know, this gun has a really big list of, you know, buffs and stuff. And I want to go over that before I show you guys the good stuff. Just, just bear with me. Trust me, guys. But nonetheless, guys, the buffs that the QXR really actually got are the headshot damage increase. So, you know, damage done to the head has increased with the QXR since the last update. That has increased. The chest damage has also increased, so damage you do at the chest has also increased, and the damage range of this gun has increased at the same time. So that's a pretty big list. I mean, it's, it's not that big of, a, big of a list, but it's three things, three big things that come to a gun that just make it so overpowered. So a gun that lacks in damage range gets the range, you know, it just becomes OP. A gun that lacks in, you know, damage gets, you know, damage increase. Already, this gun has the highest amount of fire rate in the game, I believe so. But nonetheless, these changes were drastic, and I see QX are getting spammed everywhere, all over ranked games. But nonetheless, the moment you guys are waiting for has come. This is the build that I'm currently using. As you can see on the screen right now, as you can see the build, I'm going to leave it up for a couple seconds. But if you have missed it, you guys can always feel free to go back and screenshot it. But nonetheless, guys, this is the build that I'm using. As you can see, I currently have... The tactical suppressor as my muzzle, the old WC marksman as my barrel, the no stock as my stock, the old WC laser tactical as my laser, and last but not the least, the enhanced bolt as my perk. So as I said previously, the QXR has so many, you know, buffs this update, and it's actually technically the number one gun. I don't agree with it because I do feel like the Bison is way better just because it has more range and more bullets and like you can play more strategic with it, you know what I mean? And you don't know, have play, you know, hold long angles and whatnot with the qxr you probably can and probably can't but the bison you definitely can but unless that's just my opinion but with that being said guys uh this is the current build that i'm using for the qxr and why this build works so perfectly in this is because you know the marksman barrel the old marksman barrel will give you the uh, really insane amount of damage range on top of the range that it got on the default gun you know without any attachments the default gun got a pretty insane damage range buff and this just adds on more damage range and you really want that on an smg that's so powerful to have that amount of range that becomes so powerful over long ranges you know but with that being said that we do have the tactical suppressor and i did not put on the monthic suppressor because the monthic suppressor does take away a lot of ads speed which you don't want get you want you don't want that to get taken away trust me as a um <laughs> as a qxr user or an smg user you really want to keep that and savor that adsb because that's the most advantage you're going to ever have so you know having initiating gunfights you know close quarter uh, close quarter gunfights and whatnot and also you know to turn on people you know you got to utilize that ads speed and that's the whole point of have being an smg player so that being said guys that is going to be it for the muzzle here and move on to the next attachment being the no stock and that's going to give you an insane damage range i mean not damage insane ads time increase uh paired up with the tactical suppressor and the freaking old marksman barrel as they both really do take away ads speed and you really don't want that getting taken away that much as the old marksman barrel does take away 15 and the tactical suppressor takes away five adds up to 20 negative ads speed which makes the tw the gun 20% slower than it's uh, you know the ADS times 20% slower than it's supposed to be. So the no stock really fills in that gap a little bit, not as much. But then we have the old OC laser tactical as our next attachment, guy, get, you know, making it neutralize. You know, 20 20. You know, it makes it zero, and you really want to keep it there, or if not, make it a make it uh, above that level. 
So that being said, those are the tactical. We all know what it does. The last perk being the enhanced bolt. We really want to really utilize this perk as this gun already has a good insane amount of fire rate. Like insane as an insane amount of fire rate as almost close to 90 fire rate. And this perk gives you even more. So this perk adds in a good amount of fire rate to the gun. It might not be noticeable. You know, you guys probably wouldn't even notice it. But trust me, it play it makes a big big uh it plays a really big role into this gun and the way this gun is structured. So with that being said, guys, that is going to be all the attachments. That's going to be, you know, uh, you know, the gunsmith build that I currently suggest you guys to use for the QXR. And in this update, you guys are going to be doing, trust me, you guys are going to be doing so good in ranked games using this gun. As you know, everyone else is kind of using this gun too. But nonetheless, guys, let me know what you guys think about this build if you tried it. And if you're looking forward to trying it, let me know in the comment section below and any thoughts honestly even this video but nonetheless thank you guys for stopping by once again and being really generous with their time i really appreciate you guys once again and you know i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this gameplay for now i'll see you guys in the next one but for now guys adios and Like a soldier, I keep on moving forward, always getting closer, I'm marching till it's over, I'm just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward, always getting closer.